Cumberland, and the home of a hundred thousand seagulls. Not a good place for bird spotters who like picking out the oyster catcher from the kittiwake, because all the seagulls in this sanctuary are those curious black-headed gulls who live in a community and only fight at mating time. The birds are screaming in chorus now because with bird expert J.C. Horton and his little daughter, we've intruded. But that's all right. One person leaving this hide fools them into thinking we've all gone, and they settle down. And what fascinating creatures they prove themselves to be. You can't tell whether they're courting or fighting at this phase of their lives, although they're most sociable for the rest of the year. The experts say that the courtship posture is more an attempt on the male bird's part to scare off other rivals than a gesture of affection to the lady. He takes her for granted from the start. Even at nesting time, though, the black-headed gull keeps some of his natural matiness. Father Bird will take his turn baby-watching quite readily. And if outside danger threatens, he'll immediately drop his aggressive attitude to his neighbors. At the bark of a dog, for example, he'll fly off and join with his rivals to whip up a great communal yell of protest. Danger over he once more becomes an aggressive defender of the nest. And so, a new generation stirs to life. While the young are in their brown baby fluff, mum and dad haven't a decent word to say for their neighbors on the marsh. They're too busy feeding the family and eventually endeavoring to get the young ones airborne. Then suddenly, as we see from our hideout, quarrels are forgotten. For the rest of the year, they're a happy community with never a feather ruffled in anger. Seems there's still a lot we can learn from nature. <laughs>